Mirroring subassemblies are components of an assembly. So Inventor allows us to mirror assemblies uh, or assembly components using the mirror tool. So we can find the mirror tool uh, by going up to our assemble and to our pattern and to mirror. And it'll ask us to select the components. So I'll go around and I'll pick, let's say, these components here. And we'll, it'll come down and it'll put those into the list down here. Now, when it has the green double uh, arrows, um, I can change that. And I can change it and say I want to, I click on it and notice it goes to a plus. So a plus here reuses the selected object is where the green mirrors a selected object. If I pick on it again, uh, I can exclude those selected objects. So I can choose how I want to handle these particular parts. Once I've chosen the parts, I can choose the mirror plane and I can come over and pick on the mirror plane and I'll pick this mirror plane. And I could choose a YZ plane or an XZ plane or YZ plane if I want to as well. Once I've chosen the components and the mirroring, I can then say next. This brings up a list box. And the list box here is uh, pretty much tells us the status of everything here. Now, uh, if I come down here, it has the name of the original part and then it will give it a new name. And so the new name, uh, you know, you can accept the name it gives it or you can create a new name, uh, give it a new name. I can also tell the source path here as well. And I can also go with what its status is. And I can, I can actually change the status from new file to reuse existing and I can also right click on this source path and change it to a user path, all right? And so in here, I can come down here and I can insert this into the assembly or I can open it in a new window. And so if I open it in a new window, then it will be copied into a new assembly file. I could also return back to the selection. So I can go back to my selection dialog box and change selections. Now, uh, at this point, I'm about ready to say OK. So I'm going to hit OK. And it'll now generate a new mirrored copy of my of my assembly here. So it creates it over here in the browser bar and I have created a copy of my uh, assembly or components within an assembly. So I'm mirroring sub-assemblies or components of an assembly.